Greetings, my lord. I am your advisor, Lady Gwendolyn. I will guide you on managing and expanding the noble kingdom of England. You are currently looking at your capital city, London, on the campaign map. Your goal is to expand your empire through conquest, trade, diplomacy and religion, to build a faction that is far-reaching and powerful. This scroll shows you what you must do to achieve victory and become the emperor of the known world. Your main challenge is to expand your empire by waging war against other factions and conquering their lands. When you're ready to... You can view your campaign goals at any time by clicking the highlighted button on the bottom panel of the screen. To expand the Kingdom of England, you should first look to conquer the British Isles. You must also contend with the Scots to the north and the French to the south. The nearby rebel town of York will make an ideal first target. You should start by double-clicking on one of your settlements and recruiting some troops. Once you have built up an army, you can prepare to make your first conquest. Use this scroll to construct buildings, recruit troops, and govern your settlement. More detailed statistics and trade details can be viewed by clicking the Show Settlement Details button at the bottom of the scroll. Click the Show Me How button to learn how to use the settlement scroll. Constructing a place of worship in this settlement will continuously convert the population here to your religion and increase the happiness of your citizens. Merchants can be used to trade resources and make acquisitions. Hold your cursor over a resource to show its value and move your merchant onto it to commence trading. Hastings, 1066. <laughs> this is Rufus, your general on the battlefield. He is accompanied by an entourage of the finest Norman knights. Left click on his unit to serve. Your general. general is your most important unit. He commands your armies on the battlefield, giving them strength and courage to fight. When he is lost, your battle is lost. Remember, you must keep Rufus alive to conquer the Saxons. You can move your armies around by right-clicking where you want them to go. Right-click on the highlighted area to move Rufus there. You will notice that your general has moved, but your view has not. Use the number pad on the keyboard to move your view of the battlefield. Five and two will move it forward and back, Four and six will move it sideways, 
and 1 and 3 will rotate your view. Move your view now so that Rufus is centered. You can zoom in and out and tilt your view by using the mouse wheel. You can also move your view by pushing the mouse to the edge of the screen. The panel at the bottom of the screen shows a map of the battlefield, an indicator of your progress in the battle, controls for the pace of the battle, your general and troops, as well as options and commands for your selected forces. You can also select your units by left-clicking on their character cards. Double left-clicking on a unit card centers your view on that unit. Double left-click on your cavalry's unit card to get your unit somewhere quickly. Double right-click on a location. Order your cavalry to run by double right-clicking on the highlighted area. You can change your unit speed of movement by pressing the unit speed toggle button on the bottom right panel. Try this now to order your cavalry to slow down. Sometimes it is necessary to run on the battlefield. However, making your troops run too often will tire them out quickly. Order your troops to march long distances and only run when you are near your enemy. You can press the Stop Current Orders button on the bottom right panel to remove all current orders. You can easily select all your units on the battlefield by pressing Control A. Try doing this now. Now that all your units are selected and awaiting your orders, move them to the highlighted area. 